The following special presentation of WKBN's Big 22 is sponsored by Eastern Gateway Community College, Curbstone Coaches, The Moransky Companies, and Coca's Pizza. <laughs> to the Big 22. Hi, everyone, and welcome to the 2019 WKBN Big 22 Banquet. My name is Ryan Allison, Sports Director at WKBN-TV, and we are coming to you live tonight from the Maronite Center in Austintown, where we will introduce you to some of the best high school football players here in the Valley. Take a look around the room, folks. There is some serious talent in attendance tonight. Every member of our Big 22 is here, along with our linemen, our five blocks of granite, and four championship coaches all in attendance. Tonight, we will show you which players made the cut this year, and we'll also crown our Ohio and Pennsylvania Players of the Year. This is also the 14th season that we've hosted the WKBN Big 22 Banquet, but only the second that we have broadcast live here on 27 WKBN. So for those of you at home that are unfamiliar with our annual high school football awards banquet, here's a brief look back at the history of our Big 22. It was a humble beginning in December of 2006 when 22 of the top players in the Mahoning Valley assembled at Seminero's Banquet Hall in Niles. Our very first player of the year, Warren Harding tailback, Daniel Boone Heron. A great banquet, you know, um, a lot of great players, you know, top 22 players were here. It was nice to meet all the players, and uh, it was just great things. Heron played four years at Ohio State and five years in the NFL. The first of many Big 22 alumni to reach the professional level. And we've got another headed to the NFL very soon. He's our Ohio Player of the Year from Warren Harding High School, Lynn Bowden. I mean, it's just like, it just rushed to me. It's like tears almost started falling on my eyes, but I had to remember it's still football. I can't show emotion. This year's class of contenders is well on their way, and they understand what it takes to be part of the Big 22. I just know the Big 22 is the best of the best. It's everybody in the Valley that you're the best of the best. Well, I just know Big 22 is a real special like category of people around here, and it's just really cool to be a part of it. I've seen a lot of great players go through and become big members of the Big 22. So it just means to me that you got to work hard to be a part of the 22. I know you have to be a special player. It, obviously, there's only 22 kids that get picked, so you have to go out there every Friday night and show that you deserve to be in it. I don't know much, but I know there's a lot of good players that get on the Big 22, so to be one of those people, I'm about to step up my game and just play every game really hard. Being make it a Big 22, you got to love the sport. You got to love this. You can't like it. You got to love it. You got to. <laughs> you just got to be the best and be the best. Well, coming up tonight, we'll introduce you to our class of 2019 and name our Big 22 Player of the Year. But first, a look back at the moments that made this 2019 season so special. Coming up next, our top plays from 2019. You've heard the name, but who are the Curbstone Coaches? Organized by members of the local sports media, we work to preserve the memory of athletes who have brought distinction to the community since 1958. Curbstone Coaches, paying tribute to local athletes for 60 years. Hi, this is super finance girl Nikki from Fred Martin Ford. If you're tired of paying a high interest rate to drive that jalopy, then I've got some great news. Not only can I lower your interest rate, I can get you 0% financing for 72 months. That's right, zero interest. Drive a brand new Ford Escape, Echo Sport, or Fusion for less than you're paying for that clunker. So come see me, Super Finance Girl, at Fred Martin Ford, where your interest rate is less, a lot less. Hello, my name is Jimmy Bruce. I'm president of Eastern Gateway Community College. Eastern Gateway has over 50 programs between our campuses in Steubenville and Youngstown, and over 20 programs that can be done fully online. 
We offer a quality educational experience that prepares you to enter the workforce or to transfer to a four-year university. Most of all, EGCC is the most affordable option in our region. Enroll at Eastern Gateway and experience college the way it should be. Affordable, practical, and fun. Turn your house into a dream home with Pebblestone. Ugly concrete? Cover it with Pebblestone. Like a beautiful stone carpet, Pebblestone is easy to clean and covers broken or pitted concrete. Installed in one day in any weather condition. Transform your messy basement or garage into a gorgeous living space. Best of all, we do all the work. From moving your items, preparing and cleaning, to installation and organization. Call today for a free steel organizational system with your purchase of a Pebblestone floor. For luxury stone flooring that everyone can afford, trust the Valley's own Pebblestone. You've heard the name, but who are the Curbstone Coaches? Organized by members of the local sports media, we work to preserve the memory of athletes who have brought distinction to the community since 1958. Curbstone Coaches, paying tribute to local athletes for 60 years. It's a 19 Big 22 banquet. We're coming to you live from the Maronite Center in Austin Town once again. And one thing that made the 2019 season one for the record books, consider this. Of the 55 teams that we cover here at WKBN in Ohio and Pennsylvania, 21 of those this year qualified for the playoffs. Four of those teams made it all the way to the state semifinals, and one brought home a state championship. Yeah. So when you shoot 16 weeks of football, you are bound to see some unbelievable plays and some milestone moments. So let's take a look back. Chad Kraspinski has more with our 2019 Top Plays. Austintown Finch at Mollenkopf Stadium. Raiders on the move. Elijah Taylor back to pass and he heaves it downfield for Ty Artis, who makes an incredible one handed grab. Take another look. Artis snags it out of the air over his shoulder and somehow gets a foot in bounds, adding yet another one to the highlight reel. Number four. Lowville hosting Springfield. The Tigers' aerial attack on display. Bo Brungard hits Garrett Walker, and watch Walker go to work, dodging at least eight potential tacklers across 60 yards, all the way in for the Tigers' touchdown. Barry Sanders-like elusiveness from Walker, putting on a show in the open field. Number three. Southern paying a visit to Columbiana in week four at Firestone Park. Indian scoring machine Cam Grothaus with a monster night. On high school football's biggest stage. One of the most impressive grabs we've ever seen on our game of the week. Two to the left, one receiver near side to the right. Sloan firing across the middle. Tip and caught for a touchdown. What an unbelievable grab by Cam Grothaus. That is one for the highlight reel in 2019. That's one of the best catches I've seen in years. Number two. Week 12, Springfield facing Trimble in a battle of unbeatens. Five minutes left, Springfield trailing facing fourth and nine, and they go to the bag of tricks. Bo Brungard hits Clayton Medvac, who tosses back to Garrett Walker. It's a hook and ladder with the season on the line. The Tigers picked up 48 yards and eventually the win, keeping their then perfect season intact. Number one. Farrell and Bishop Guilfoyle heading to overtime in the PIAA Class A State Championship. BG looking to take the lead in the extra session, but Brian Hilton Jr. keeps the game tied, coming up with the big block on special teams. He was far from done. Farrell got the ball back, and Hilton Jr. is the hero, blasting this field goal a mile high in the air. It just does find its way over the crossbar for the game winner, helping Farrell win the fourth state title in program history in in thrilling fashion. And those are our plays of the year. We're so pleased to be joined by Farrell head coach, Amp Pegues. And coach, I have to ask you, as that ball hung in the air and barely made it across that crossbar, what's the emotion, what's the feeling like on that sideline for you? I just couldn't breathe, really. You see the ball go so high, and, and you're just waiting. It seemed like it took forever for that ball to cross the goalposts. And... I really just heart skipped the beat a couple of times. And certainly plenty of smiles afterwards. Congratulations on being named our top play in 2019. Thank you. Appreciate it.
Well, should come as no surprise, the top plays usually come from the top players. And coming up after the break, we will introduce you to our Big 22. That's coming up next here on 27 WKBN. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. Whoa, snowman in the office. Yeah, we got a little holiday spirit going with these new Dunkin' Signature Lattes. All is done. All he needs is a holiday eggnog latte, right guys? <laughs> Or maybe an iced one would be better next time. Get holiday in with Dunkin's new signature lattes, like holiday eggnog and merry mocha mint. The holidays run on Dunkin'. Get through the winter easy this year with one visit to the stadium GM used car superstore. Stop in and see hundreds of inspected cars, trucks, and SUVs and save hundreds, even thousands. See our great selection of GM certified used vehicles and truck buyers choose from two-wheel drives, four-wheel drives, crew cabs, and double cabs. Walk through our famous budget lot and see a great selection of cars starting from under 10000 And never worry about credit. We will make sure you get the financing you deserve. At the store where Zero Down delivers every day. The Stadium GM Used Car Superstore in Salem. The Moransky Companies are proud sponsors of the Five Blocks of Granite and salute all area high school athletes throughout the year. Don't miss the United Way Holiday Basketball Classic. Five great games, all in one day. Saturday, December 14th at Poland High School. The action tips off at noon. Continuing all day with some of the best teams in the Valley. All money raised stays local with the United Way, supporting educational programs in our communities. The United Way Holiday Basketball Classic, Saturday, December 14th. Proudly sponsored by ServPro and these local sponsors. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. Welcome back to the 2019 WKBN Big 22 and our live broadcast here from the Maronite Center in Austintown. You know, one great thing about the Big 22 is there are new faces every year as a part of it. In fact, all but one member of this year's class is new to the Big 22 this season, and it is not easy to make. So to illustrate that, we wanted to take a moment to show you just how difficult it is to be part of the WKBN Big 22. So how do you make the Big 22? Well, it's not up to this guy, or those guys, or this place. You make it on the field. It starts in the preseason when we nominate players. So do the coaches and the media, and sometimes your family. We keep adding to that list throughout the season to create a ballot. This year, that ballot had well over 100 deserving players on it. They were the best players from 55 schools across four counties. The Big 22 is the best of the best. So who decides? Well, the answer is a lot of people. All 55 head coaches in the Valley receive that ballot after the regular season and vote. So do 25 members of the local media that cover high school football. These are the coaches you played against, the sportscaster that called your game, or the writer that interviewed you after it. 80 people that love high school football vote for the Big 22. To put it in perspective, there are more qualified people voting for the Big 22 in our four counties than vote for the All-State Awards across Ohio. To the victor go the spoils. It's no secret, the teams that win get the most attention. And our Big 22 and five blocks of granite usually reflect that. In fact, not one player from this year's class played on a team with a losing record. And 21 of those made the playoffs. And the entire Valley was well represented. This year's class has players from big schools and small schools from all four counties we cover in Ohio and Pennsylvania. And once again, we're proud of the results. And the players that make it should be proud of themselves. Our WKBN Big 22 Class of 2019. 
Well, let's get started and introduce you to our class of 2019, sponsored, of course, by our friends at Eastern Gateway Community College and our friends from the Curbstone Coaches. We begin with the District 10 champions. Sharon had two players make the cut this year, including our only Big 22 veteran. I Elam, Sharon. The Tigers' senior wideout caught 77 passes this season for a staggering 1,222 yards. That ranks top five all time in Mercer County history. Ela reeled in nine touchdowns while helping the Tigers defend their District 10 title. Lane Voidick, Sharon. The Tiger senior is the only returning member from last year's class, and for good reason. Voidick threw for over 3,000 yards and 31 touchdowns this season, and his career numbers will be tough to top. Over the last four years, Voidick has thrown over 1,000 passes for over 8,500 yards and 91 touchdowns, making him Mercer County's all time leading passer. And we are joined by these two young men here. And first of all, Lane, what are you most proud of with what you were able to accomplish? You shattered those record books. You're the only returning player back at this banquet. What are you most proud of being back here? Um, I'm just most proud of just being able to play this game with my family, my friends, just being able to enjoy it these past four years, and just being happy playing this game. And if certainly it makes you a lot easier for you to have a wide receiver like this young man who gets first place for best dressed shoes here uh, tonight. Your ability to make big plays. Tell me about where that comes from and what you look to do on the field. Uh, I just watch a lot of football videos and that just like boosts my confidence every game. A pair of Sharon Tigers, District 10 champions. Ryan? Well, our next group of winners comes from Columbiana County and all three have left their mark on the school record book. Cam Grodhouse, Southern. Cam Grodhouse finished the season with 600 yards receiving, 552 yards rushing, and 15 total touchdowns. The Indian senior will graduate as the school's all-time leader in receptions, receiving yards, and touchdowns with over 4,000 all-purpose yards and 50 touchdowns. Jay Sloan, Southern. Jay Sloan passed for 1,184 yards, rushed for another 420, and accounted for 22 touchdowns on offense this season. He also recorded 41 tackles, four interceptions, and scored twice on defense. He leaves the program as the Indians' all-time leader with 34 career passing touchdowns. Marco Ferry, Latonia. Marco Ferry led the Bears with 23 touchdowns this season, 205 carries, and a whopping 1,915 yards rushing, making him the Valley's leading rusher this year as a junior. And we'll begin right here with a pair of Southern Indians who capped off an undefeated regular season. Cam, we just saw that outstanding catch in our top plays. Is there a play that you aren't able to make because you found the end zone quite a few times through the season? Uh, I think if it was to help our team win, I think I can make just about any play. And it certainly helps when you have a quarterback that can make the plays that this young man has been able to do, rewriting the record books for the Indians, playing alongside this guy, capping off the regular season. What did that mean to you this year? Uh, it means everything to me. You know, I've known him since the second grade. You know, we've always played together. And uh, just to have a team, a teammate like him and a team like I have, um, it means everything to me. Congratulations on a great year. And Marco, to finish as the school's all-time leading rusher, tell me about what that has meant to you. 
Uh, it's meant everything, you know. I uh, worked real hard, and you know, my team worked hard with me. You know, they pushed me every day, and you know, to have people like uh, my brothers, you know, who are great athletes, and uh, my father as well. I really look up to them, and to make them proud means everything to me. Congratulations on great seasons, guys. Ryan. Well, coming up on the Big 22, we will continue with this class of 2019, including the first players ever to make it from Cheney and East Liverpool. That's next here on 27 WKBN. You've heard the name, but who are the Curbstone Coaches? Organized by members of the local sports media, we work to preserve the memory of athletes who have brought distinction to the community since 1958. Curbstone Coaches, paying tribute to local athletes for 60 years. Just in time for the holidays, it's employee pricing for everyone at Diane Sauer Chevrolet. This month, lease the Chevy Trax for only $155 a month, or choose the Sequinox for only $175 a month. Silverados are going fast. Grab one now for only $290 a month. We're easy to find and hard to beat. Just west of the Eastwood Mall on Route 422 in Warren, or always open online at DianeSauerChevy.com. The savings begins this way, Diane Sauer Chevrolet. Fred Martin Ford has some big news. For the year-end sales event, we are now taking a full 30% off 2019 F-150s in stock. That's right, 30% off F-150s. Or how about $7,000 off all Ranger XLTs or lease a 4x4 crew cab for just $239 per month with zero down. Nobody discounts trucks like Fred Martin Ford, where we sell for less, a lot less. You've heard the name, but who are the Curbstone Coaches? Organized by members of the local sports media, we work to preserve the memory of athletes who have brought distinction to the community since 1958. Curbstone Coaches, paying tribute to local athletes for 60 years. Welcome back to the 2019 WKBN Big 22 Banquet. You know, there's more than a dozen high schools here in the Valley that have never had a player make the Big 22. This year, you can scratch two of those off the list with Cheney and East Liverpool's first players ever to qualify for the Big 22. Delshawn Petrosky, Cheney. Delshawn Petrosky led Cheney to six wins in their first full season of football since 2010 and racked up some big numbers along the way. The Cowboys Jr. passed for over 1,300 yards, rushed for over 700, and accounted for 19 touchdowns this season. Derek Carter, East Liverpool. Derek Carter carried the ball 185 times this season for well over 1,400 yards and 17 touchdowns. He will graduate with 2,732 career yards, making him the Potter's all-time leading rusher. And Delshawn, there's so much tradition for the Cheney Cowboys. This football team is back in existence, and boy, did you leave your mark. How special was it for you to be the quarterback of the Cheney Cowboys in their return to varsity football? Um, it's very special, you know, do it for the team. Cheney, first year back. Um, it's only beginning, only to start. Plenty of weapons coming back next year as well, and Derek, to be the school's all-time leading rusher now, you've certainly left your mark. What has that meant to you? Uh, it meant a lot to me because well, it just meant a lot. I won't be able to do it without my linemen and everybody supporting me. A man of few words, but plenty of big impact. Ryan? Well, let's continue with our Big 22. You know, Warren Harding has had a player on the Big 22 each of the last five seasons. This year, the Raiders have two. 
Elijah Taylor, Warren Harding. Elijah Taylor completed 130 passes this season, threw 15 touchdowns, and racked up 1,763 yards passing, a new single season record at Warren Harding, and he's just a junior. Ty Artis, Warren Harding. Caught 28 passes this season and nine touchdowns, helping lead the Raiders to seven wins and a playoff berth. He finished with 752 yards receiving and was named Trumbull County's Player of the Year. Nick Crawford, Canfield. Nick Crawford racked up over 1,400 yards rushing and 20 total touchdowns this year in just six games. Crawford is a three-year starter and a state champion wrestler committed to Kent State. Elijah, there have been so many great quarterbacks that have played at Warren G. Harding High School and set that school record in terms of your name at the top of that list. What does that mean to you? It just means a lot. I like to feel like I led my team and win to win. I just can't think, thank everybody enough, my foul linemen and my receivers. And certainly helping the cause there is this young man, Ty Artis. You too had the penchant for making so many big plays. We saw one of them in our top plays. How exciting is that for you to be able to do that on a weekly basis through your high school football career, make those big plays? Um, I was shocked every week that I did that. <laughs> well, you certainly didn't shock us because we saw him on a weekly basis. And finally, Nick Crawford, a tremendous wrestler in your high school career. What have you brought from the wrestling mat that has allowed you to have success on the football field as well? Uh, definitely my toughness. Hardworking. Well, we saw that certainly on a weekly basis as well. Congratulations to all of you guys. Ryan? Well, Columbiana and Brookfield was by far one of the best games we broadcast this year on our WKBN Game of the Week. Those two teams combined for 47 total points and three future members of the Big 22. Tyler Briggs, Brookfield. Tyler Briggs carried the rock 139 times this season for 1,152 yards, averaging over 100 yards per game. He also scored 14 times and threw a touchdown pass twice, helping the Warriors to eight wins and a playoff berth. Hayden Gibson, Brookfield. Hayden Gibson stuffed the stat book his junior year with over 2,000 yards passing, 800 yards rushing, and 38 total touchdowns. One of those came on defense, along with 29 tackles. Jacob Cross, Columbiana. Jacob Cross threw for over 1,900 yards this season and completed 73% of his passes. He also rushed for over 600 yards, accounted for 31 total touchdowns, 43 tackles, and 7 sacks. Cross will graduate with well over 5,000 yards passing. Tyler, you wear number 36. You say you love to play like Jerome Bettis, some of the hardest earned yards. What's your approach when you step onto the football field and carry the ball? Just rolling my shoulder pads down and just get through everyone. Can't count how many times you've run people over, and certainly this young man got you the football. Hayden Gibson, a, a true dual threat, and you're just a junior. What are your goals moving forward, having piled up so many big-time numbers already in your career? Obviously, I want to increase on everything I did this year and just stay uh, working hard and 
go back at it next year. We expect to see you back here next year as well. And Jake Cross, boy, you certainly did everything over at Firestone Park for the Clippers. What are you most proud of? What will you remember most about your career? Uh, just the hard work that we put in the offseason, all the time with my family and my friends. And it was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I'm glad I had it. Certainly, and more than a few huge plays on our Game of the Week. So congratulations to all of you. Well, Hayden Gibson, uh, Hayden Gibson was born to do those green screen shots. I don't know if you noticed all the players, but I'll tell you what, he's got that stuff figured out. I don't know if you know he's watching too much Monday Night Football or what, but glad to have you back next year. Coming up after the break, we'll introduce you to the rest of our class of 2019, including four from the Northeast Eight Conference. That's next here on 27 WKBN. Here at BNR Wholesale Tire and Wheel, we have 17 and 18 inch custom wheels for your car starting as low as $119 each. It's game day. A day that should be spent in the living room, not the kitchen. So next game, you just worry about the score because we've got the food covered. With hand battered, cooked to order, always fresh, never ever frozen chicken fingers, craveable cane sauce, crispy crinkle cut fries, and jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. Raisin Cane's chicken fingers, one love. Hello, my name's Jimmy Bruce. I'm president of Eastern Gateway Community College. Eastern Gateway has over 50 programs between our campuses in Steubenville and Youngstown and over 20 programs that can be done fully online. We offer a quality educational experience that prepares you to enter the workforce or to transfer to a four-year university. Most of all, EGCC is the most affordable option in our region. Enroll at Eastern Gateway and experience college the way it should be. Affordable, practical, and fun. Come see why so many people choose Sweeney. Steve went above and beyond to make it all happen. He was more than a salesman. It was like doing business with a friend or a family member. She doesn't sell a product, but provides an experience. Eli is a five stars, first class. You are a perfect salesperson and you take care of your customers. Again, thank you. It was truly a great experience. Click SweeneyCars.com or stop by Sweeney Chevrolet Buick GMC. On Market Street in Boardman. Sweeney. The Moransky Companies are proud sponsors of the Five Blocks of Granite and salute all area high school athletes throughout the year. BNR has been your custom wheel headquarters for 40 plus years. We stock thousands of custom wheels in sizes 17 inch and larger, and we always pass those savings on to you. Welcome back to the WKBN Big 22 Banquet and our live broadcast here at the Maronite Center in Austin Town. You know, this was the first season for the Northeast 8 Conference, and it was a big success. Eight teams in the league, five made the playoffs this year, and four players made the Big 22. Adrian Brown, Struthers. <laughs> Adrian Brown rushed for 982 yards this year, averaging nearly seven yards per carry. He also scored 16 times and recorded 71 tackles and two interceptions on defense. Aiden Hall, Struthers. Hall played all over the field this season, finishing with 748 yards passing, 656 rushing, 108 receiving, and 272 on special teams. It all adds up to more than 1,700 all-purpose yards and 19 touchdowns for the junior playmaker. Isaac Allegretto, South Range. Isaac Allegretto completed 98 passes this season for over 1,400 yards. He also rushed for nearly 200 and accounted for 27 total touchdowns, helping the Raiders to eight wins and a playoff berth. 
Nick Melito, Gerard. Nick Melito caught 40 passes this season for 660 yards and eight touchdowns. He will graduate with well over 2,000 yards receiving and will continue playing football next year at the University of Louisville. I think one thing we can say about Isaac is he's very tough. He climbed his way, injured as he is. Your teammates have talked to you about being a great teammate and how great of a teammate you are. How great of a compliment is that to you in your career? Uh, it's a big compliment because, you know, I like to think of all my teammates as good teammates, too, and for them to have that respect for me means a lot. Nick, you lost a quarterback to graduation last year, Mark Wade, but you still put up some monster numbers. How were you able to do it? What's been the secret to your success on the football field? Yeah, I mean, it all comes first with our coaches and just putting us, putting us in the right positions to execute plays. And then, I mean, with Drew this year, he really did a great job stepping in and putting the ball in great places. Adrian, it's run in the family for you. Of course, you had some big shoes to fill throughout your career. Your dad had a heck of a career locally here. Um, how big of shoes were those to fill, and, and how did that motivate you moving forward? <clears throat> uh, it was pretty, uh, pretty big shoes to fill. Uh, motivate me. I always wanted to be with, like him. I always wanted to go down and play for Cam McKinley. He uh, wanted me to stay down here, though, so they get us to this high school. And, Aiden, you have played all over the field, be it quarterback, be it receiver, return man, special teams, the whole nine yards. Uh, what's your strength? What are you most proud of that you were able to do on the field for the Wildcats this year? Uh, I was lucky enough to be able to run fast for all my teammates. And... Try to get the ball into the end zone. I wouldn't be able to do it without those guys. Certainly speed personified. Congratulations, guys. Well, we also had a couple of players from Mercer County this year that put up some big numbers. Two quarterbacks that each accounted for more than 2,000 yards. And the good news, both are back next year. Logan Breeze, Grove City. Logan Breeze threw for a staggering 2,244 yards during his junior season, along with 20 touchdowns. His 64% completion rate was also the best in Mercer County. Michael Henwood, Hickory. Michael Henwood made a big splash in his junior year and first full season at quarterback, throwing for over 1,800 yards, rushing for over 600 with 32 total touchdowns. Logan, there aren't many quarterbacks that at the high school level can say they passed for over 2,000 yards. You did that with ease, and you still have plenty more to come next year. What's your strength as a quarterback that has allowed you to have that all that success? Uh, my strength is just uh, staying confident and uh, just trusting my teammates up front to protect me and the rest of the guys to trust me with the ball. Of course, your team and this young man's team split a pair of meetings during the season here this year, and you both will be back here next year. How much when you look at quarterbacks from across the area motivates you, like when you see each other playing? Does that motivate you, Michael? Oh, uh, yeah, but I think it's just like the whole um, rivalry between every team in our region, and we're all uh, close games all, every year. I think it uh, makes it fun. It certainly does. It makes it fun for us, too. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, the last three members of our Big 22 all come from the Mahoning Valley Athletic Conference, and two of them just finished playing football last Friday. Bo Brungard, Springfield. Bo Brungard is rewriting the Springfield record book with every yard and every win. The sophomore quarterback threw for 2,000 yards this year, rushed for nearly 1,000, and accounted for 43 total touchdowns. Garrett Walker, Springfield. <laughs> Bo 
Garrett Walker did it all this season with over 800 yards receiving and 16 total touchdowns. He led the Tigers with over 1,400 all-purpose yards along with 58 tackles and three interceptions on defense. Dominic Shadle, McDonald. That's very Dominic Shadle ran wild in the Blue Devils' backfield this season with over 1,700 yards rushing. The junior quarterback also passed for 600 yards and found the end zone 33 times. And Garrett, you are a track state champion, and it seems like every time you got the ball into your hands, you made something happen. How did that speed help you? Because it certainly did throughout the entire postseason run. You know, it helped me immensely because um, every time I get the ball in my hands, I can make someone miss, and I can break a long run. And I think uh, that, that that's really going to that helped our team this year. And certainly, you counted a lot on this young man, uh, Bo Brungard, first of all, to do what you did you in the zone throughout that postseason because every time your team needed a big play, was in a hole perhaps, boy, did you come through. How proud are you of what you did? Uh, yeah, I'm really, really proud of my whole team and um, everyone around me. And uh, we all worked so hard. And, um, and yeah, I put faith in my teammates. And, um, and yeah, we all, we all came together to make it happen. And lastly, Dominic, of course, your team lost a couple of really good ones in Cintron and Selly. A lot of people said, how will that McDonald team replace those guys? You answered that with those 33 touchdowns. How much pressure did you feel going into the season and as you played this thing out? I didn't really feel a lot of pressure. Josh and Alex were on the sidelines all season helping me, giving me a lot of advice. And then I have Coach supporting me. So um, I don't think there was that much pressure. Outstanding job for all of you this season, guys. Well, that's a look at our Big 22 class of 2019, but we are far from done. Coming up after the break, we will honor those that do the dirty work. The boys up front, we call them our five blocks of granite. That's coming up next here on 27 WKBN. Attention football fans, order Coca's Pizza tailgate package for only $49.99. You'll receive 24 slices of our delicious cheese pizza, 20 jumbo wings, and two of Coca's famous foot-long pepperoni rolls. Coca's Pizza, we serve it hot. It's time for zero out-of-pocket deals and only $1.99 a month on the all-new 2020 Kia Forte LXS. That's right, just $1.99 a month with zero do it signing. Do you want a new car? Everyone rides a Tater Kia. Proof of your job is all you need to apply. Get the greatest deal and up to $8,000 more for your trade than KBB Fair Trade. It's time for Taylor right now during the holiday sticker sales event at Taylor Kia of Boardman and Hermitage. If we're lucky, our children get 6,570 days of childhood. They get 18 birthdays and 18 summers. They get play dates and prom dates. They learn to ride a bike and solve for X. With your gift, we can help give kids more childhood. Please, donate today. Get through the winter easy this year with one visit to the Stadium GM Used Car Superstore. Stop in and see hundreds of inspected cars, trucks, and SUVs and save hundreds, even thousands. See our great selection of GM certified used vehicles and truck buyers choose from two-wheel drives, four-wheel drives, crew cabs, and double cabs. Walk through our famous budget lot and see a great selection of cars starting from under 10000 And never worry about credit. We will make sure you get the financing you deserve at the store where Zero Down delivers every day. The Stadium GM Used Car Superstore in Salem. Attention football fans, order Coca's Pizza tailgate package for only $49.99. You'll receive 24 slices of our delicious cheese pizza, 20 jumbo wings, and two of Coca's famous foot-long pepperoni rolls. Coca's Pizza, we serve it hot. Welcome back to the 2019 Big 22 Banquet in our live broadcast here from the Maronite Center in Austin Town. You know, one thing we noticed early on uh, with the kids that made the Big 22 is that they were usually the players that either threw the ball, caught the ball, or ran with the ball. So we wanted to take it upon ourselves to honor the kids that don't, the ones that do the dirty work, the boys up front, the linemen. We call them our five blocks of granite. 
and they are voted on by every coach and media member, the same as the Big 22, and sponsored by our friends at the Moransky Companies and Coca's Pizza. And one thing you'll notice about this group of five, they won a lot of games. Hayden Gump, Gerard. At six foot five, 265 pounds, Hayden Gump was a beast on both sides of the ball this season. Gump graded out over 98% on offense with 63 tackles on defense. And he will continue his football career next year at Youngstown State. Rich Hofus, Canfield. Richie Hofus stands six foot four, 265 pounds, and helped anchor a line that averaged over 313 yards rushing per game this season. Hofus is a two year starter, voted defensive lineman of the year by his team, and is being recruited by several Division I college programs. Carter Kelgren, Poland. Carter Kelgren is just a junior, but already a force to be reckoned with at six foot four, 300 pounds. Kelgren anchored a line for a team that won 11 games this year, along with the Northeast State Conference title, a Division IV regional championship, and earned a trip to the state final four. And with linemen, I think this size, I could probably rush for 1,500 yards myself. So I think we're in good hands in that regard. Uh, Hayden, you're heading to Youngstown State, so fans here locally are going to get to see you play and continue your career. What kind of player are the Penguins getting? Uh, if I had to, I mean, they're just getting a great all-around player. I mean, wherever they put me, I'll play. I'll do my job the best of my ability. And Rich, certainly you helped pave the way, anchoring a line that averaged 313 yards rushing for the Canfield Cardinals. What was the secret to the success? Uh, owe it all to the O-line coach and just the off-season preparation. And, of course, this Poland team made quite a run, and this young man helped anchor things. Uh, Carter, anchoring things up front for those guys, what was that like all the way deep into the postseason? Uh, it was a lot of fun. You know, our O-line, we're all uh, best friends, so it was, it was pretty easy. The chemistry was there all year, and it turned out pretty good for us. It certainly did. Congratulations to you. Well, the last two members of our five blocks of granite went very deep into the Pennsylvania State Playoffs this year and one returned from Hershey as a state champion. Weston Fanku, Wilmington. Weston Fanko is just a junior at six foot one, 255 pounds. He led the Hounds up front, blocking for an offense that averaged over 280 yards rushing and 41 points per game this season, and a defense that's allowed less than 55 yards rushing per game and finished the season as District 10 champions and a state semifinalist. Melvin Hobson, Farrell. A straight-A student that ranks first in his class, Melvin Hobson leads the way on and off the field. He's six foot three, 300 pounds, blocking for a team that averaged over 280 yards rushing per game and posted nine shutouts on defense. And oh yeah, he's also a back-to-back -back state champion. Weston, your offensive group put up 41 points per game in what was really a dominant season there. What was the secret to the offensive success for the Greyhounds? Um, our success for the Greyhounds was just everyone bonding this year from having everyone leave the Greyhounds last year. And we were rebuilt, we reloaded this year with a whole bunch of great athletes. And you certainly will be back. We'll look forward to hopefully having you back here next year. And congratulations to you. We talked right before the state championship game what it would mean to raise that state championship trophy. You were emotional before, you were emotional after. What did it mean to you to hoist that trophy? Oh, my God, it meant everything. It meant everything to me, but not only me, but my city as well. You know, Farrell backed us from the jump, and they all wanted us to get it, home, get it done, get it, bring it home, and we did, so. And you did so in thrilling fashion. Congratulations.
Well, we'd also like to take a moment to honor our coaches that had unforgettable seasons this year. We had four reach the state final four. We begin in Ohio with Poland head coach Ryan Williams. His Bulldogs struggled out of the gate a bit, losing two of their first three games due to injuries. But Coach Williams would rally the troops from there and ripped off 10 consecutive wins. They rolled through the Northeast 8 Conference, finishing undefeated in the league and winning by more than 30 points per game in league play. Poland won the Division IV Regional Championship and earned a trip to the state semifinals. Coach, you and I talked about how proud you are of what your group was able to accomplish. What has this ride been like for Poland? Oh, it's been remarkable for our seniors and, and their dedication to our program. It's been a great, you know, I love being around those guys, and it was a, a year that none of us were ready to let go. Certainly. Congratulations to you, Coach. Thank you. From Springfield High School, head coach Sean Guerrero. The Tigers finished their best season in school history with 14 wins. Springfield finished the regular season undefeated, claimed the Mahoning Valley Athletic Conference title, and earned a one seed in the Division VI playoffs. The Tigers won four playoff games, a regional championship, and finished as the Division VI state runner-up. Coach, I know it didn't end the way you wanted it to, the way we wanted it to end with you bringing home the state championship, but so many tremendous moments for this Springfield team throughout the season, throughout the playoffs. What are some of the key things that will stand out to you as you look back years from now? Uh, just the backing of our community. Uh, it was a great experience for our school. I'm, I'm so glad, glad about how our kids ended up performing throughout the season, but how our community came together in the Mahoning Valley to be able to, to see the fans in the stands of the state game was just a, a remarkable re memory for me. And certainly community-wide support. You saw signs not just in New Middletown, but also signs that were throughout the entire area supporting this team. Everybody kind of came together. Oh, it's just a great feeling, and like I said, a great opportunity for our kids and our team. Congratulations, Coach. From Wilmington High School, head coach Brandon Fillion. The Hounds had another unbelievable run this year. They won 12 games and dominated the competition, outscoring their opponents by nearly 30 points per game. Wilmington won the Region 4 title, the District 10 title, and advanced to the state semifinals for the second year in a row under Coach Fillion. Coach Fillion, what is the tradition like for your program? You guys just continue to win. Well, I think first it starts with, you know, being so fortunate to have such dedicated players, blessed beyond belief to have an outstanding coaching staff to get to work with each and every day, and just so thankful for our school and our community, community and the support that we always get. Congratulations to you. Thank you. From Farrell High School, head coach Anthony Pagis. What a debut for Coach Amp. In his first season as head coach of the Steelers, he won 14 games, the Region 1 title, the District 10 title, and the Class A state championship. His offense averaged over 38 points per game, and his defense posted nine shutouts this year. Coach Pagis has now won a state title as a player, as an assistant coach, and now the head coach at Farrell. Coach, you were the quarterback the last time Farrell went back-to-back -back in the mid-90s, hoisting that trophy for the first time as a head coach. Can you describe what that moment was like? Oh, the feeling was unbelievable, you know, um, with the coaching staff that we have and the work that he put in. And for me to be recognized, I just want to recognize those guys because they really put a lot of effort and work into this job. Congratulations to you, Coach. Thank you. Coming up after the break, we only have two trophies left, and they are reserved for the best of the best. The Ohio and Pennsylvania Player of the Years are coming up next here on 27 WKBN. At Primary Health Network, we understand that you have a lot of questions about your health care. Questions like, I just found out I have high blood pressure. Now what? How do I tell my doctor I may be depressed? I don't know if I can pay for this visit. As a community health center, we are building what the future of health care looks like. Care that is patient-centered and affordable so that you can get well, be well, and live well. Primary Health Network, we are committed to improving the health of our communities. Whoa, snowman in the office. Yeah, we got a little holiday spirit going with these new Dunkin' Signature Lattes. How was done? All he needs is a holiday eggnog latte, right guys? <laughs> Or maybe an iced one would be better next time. 
Get holiday in with Dunkin's new signature lattes, like holiday eggnog and merry mocha mint. The holidays run on Dunkin'. Hi, Rob Thelman for Boardman Subaru, where it's time for the annual Subaru Share the Love event. During this holiday season, when you buy or lease a new Subaru, a $250 donation will be given to your choice of five worthwhile charities. No games, no gimmicks, just get a great car and support a great cause. So come see us and help share the love. And remember, Subaru is the safest, most fuel-efficient all-wheel drive vehicle in America. Only at Boardman Subaru, just south of Route 224 on South Avenue. Christmas morning for anybody, it is extremely exciting. But here at Kamara Jewelers, we also have that feeling for all of the customers that have come in. So we've done the snow promotion the last couple of years, and I really swore that it was going to happen last year. This is going to be the year. If it snows four more inches on Christmas Day, any purchase made from December 1st to December 18th, can you get your money back? I mean, that would be amazing. Get real, get Kamara. The Moransky Companies are proud sponsors of the Five Blocks of Granite and salute all area high school athletes throughout the year. Welcome back to the 2019 WKBN Big 22 Banquet. This is the moment we've all been waiting for when we crown our Big 22 Player of the Year. And we will start in Pennsylvania. Now, past winners of this award have not had great seasons. They have had record-breaking careers. And tonight's winner is no different. His name is at the top of the list about every statistical category that involves throwing a football. More than 8,500 yards passing, 91 career touchdowns, both Mercer County records. But more importantly, he won 29 games along the way. Our 2019 Big 22 Pennsylvania Player of the Year from Sharon High School, Lane Voidick. Lane, congratulations to you, Coach McElhaney. Congratulations to you. You just found the news out. What's it mean to you? How special is it to hold that trophy best in Pennsylvania? Well, just seeing the past two Sharon Tigers win this trophy, Andrew Tom and Zion Strickland, and also my cousin also being here, it's a big, it's a big achievement in my life. And um, I'm just very thankful for my family, my friends, all my coaches that, I've, that ever I dealt with me. And uh, it's just a great accomplishment in my life. Congratulations to you both. Well, our list of winners for Ohio Player of the Year is pretty impressive. Boom Heron, Fitzgerald Toussaint, both won Player of the Year. Both had big NFL careers. L.J. Scott was a two-time winner of this award. And Lynn Bowden, a two-time winner and four-time member of our Big 22. Those guys were big-time players with bright futures at the next level. But one thing they did not do, and one thing we have never seen, is a sophomore named our Big 22 Player of the Year until tonight. Please welcome our 2019 Ohio Big 22 Player of the Year from Springfield High School, Bo Brungard. Damaged or broken teeth? At Sadie Dental, give us an hour. We'll give you your smile back. This moment. Uh, you know, I, I, give God, I give God all the glory. You know, he's uh, so amazing. He's blessed me with so much, my family, my teammates, and everything. And, um, you know, I couldn't do it without my O-line, my brother, and everyone else. You know, they block so well for me and um, give me time to do everything, run, pass, you know, whatever. And I'm so thankful for everything. Congratulations to you. Thank you. All of us at WKBN, have a great night, and we'll see you next season.